What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to set a video as a live wallpaper in iOS 18. The first step is to open the settings app on your iPhone. Once you're in settings, scroll down until you find the option labeled battery. This is important because live wallpapers need the full power of your phone to work correctly. So the first thing we need to turn off is low power mode, in case it's enabled. Low power mode conserves battery life by limiting background processes, and it can interfere with live wallpapers, so make sure to toggle it off. Next, swipe all the way back up to the top of the settings menu and use the search bar to look for reduce motion. This is a setting that reduces the amount of animation and motion across iOS. And while it's helpful for saving battery and performance, it can also prevent live wallpapers from working as intended. Once you find Reduce Motion, select it and make sure the toggle is turned off. Now that we've made sure the necessary settings are configured, let's head over to the home screen. Here, find an empty space on the screen and long press until the options to customize your wallpaper pop up. Once the customization screen appears, you'll see a plus icon in the bottom right corner. Tap on that. At this point, you'll be prompted to select what kind of wallpaper you want to add. Scroll through the options and look for the Live Photo option. If you don't see it, no worries. Just tap on Photos and manually find the live photo you want to use. A live photo is essentially a short video that iPhone captures before and after the moment a photo is taken. And you can use this as your live wallpaper. Once you tap on Live Photo, you'll see a selection of your live photos. If the specific live photo you want isn't showing up, go to the All Photos option and find the video or live photo you want to use. Tap on the image and it should play a brief preview of the live photo in motion. If it doesn't play, or if you get an error message like motion is not available for this live wallpaper, it should mean that the live photo isn't supported. One reason this might happen is if the subject of the photo doesn't stand out clearly from the background. If your live photo blends the subject too much with its surroundings, iOS might not be able to distinguish between them, causing the motion feature to be unavailable. A good live photo for wallpaper will have a clear foreground and a distinct background. Once you've selected a live photo that works, you'll see some customization options at the bottom of the screen. Here, you can choose whether you want the live wallpaper effect to be applied to the lock screen, to the home screen, or both. It's important to note that live wallpapers only animate on the lock screen. They won't show any motion on the home screen. If you choose to apply it to both, the home screen wallpaper will be just a static image while the lock screen will feature the live wallpaper. You can also choose to customize your home screen separately if you want a different wallpaper for it. If you're happy with your selection, go ahead and tap Save as Wallpaper Pair, and the live wallpaper will be applied to your lock screen. When you lock your phone and check the lock screen, you should see your live wallpaper in action. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and see you in the next one.